A reading from the book of Genesis. After Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to him and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I have heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. When he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat, all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. Responsorial Psalm Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves, the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her. And he who has established her is the Most High Lord. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, This man was born here, and all shall sing in their festive dance. My home is within you. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and a disciple there, whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished, and bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first, and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. <laughs> 